Welcome back. Talking with uh, outdoorsman Eddie Bauer. Eddie. <laughs> no, no Aiden. All right, let me. Oh, you, you didn't. Uh, I can't let you off here now. Uh, you, you, you camped with your wife. You went to the motel one night. Okay, the next night you went camp. Which went first, the motel or the or the camping? Oh, uh, I don't know. We alternated oh, okay. back and forth. So yeah. she set up the thing, and, right. and of course you were too exhausted, too exhausted to even uh, right. go right. through all these layers right. of clothes, Mister Incentive. Right. Um, so how did it work out? How did, how did the night well, wind up? Well, we had uh, taken some food into the tent, which I kind of knew wasn't a good idea, but we kind of fell asleep, and then I woke up and heard a, a big branch cracking. And this was <laughs> after my wife bought 150 of the. What was that? You know, uh, that. And uh, I heard this, and I heard a, a growl out there. And I thought, oh, my God, there's a bear rooting around right outside the tent. And I kept hearing things out there, and I was getting absolutely terrified. And I thought, am I going to wake my wife up? And I knew we had to do something, like, you know, you're supposed to scare him away or something. And, uh, scare the bear away? We, yeah, you're supposed to make noise with, uh, they're not grizzlies, you know. With oh, you mean grizzlies. if you make a louder noise than the bear, the bear won't Yeah, work. they're yeah. supposed to go away. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, this went on for a while, and I was sweating, and so finally I decided, I have to wake her up. I'm going to wake her up. And I leaned over, and I heard... <laughs> and I realized it was her. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I see. So, big outdoors, man. Macho man, you know, getting scared. <laughs> I My see. wife snoring. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you're all set to leave her as bait and take <laughs> off and leave her for the bear. Oh, so you never saw any bears? No. Oh, Not man. that trip. And another trip I did, but that, that's another. Oh, you went back again? <laughs> not with my wife. Though. Oh, not with well, a whole other story. Yeah. I think I understand. Mm -hmm. Let me get back to basketball. Now, you're a big sports fan. Are you, are you, yeah. Where are you from, Chicago originally? Yeah, Chicago. So you baby. follow Chicago team? Yeah. You're a Cubs fan? I'm a, I'm a diehard Cubs fan. You have to be. Every Cub fan is a diehard Cub fan. <laughs> 45 years and counting. We're waiting. Uh, yeah. We're patient, uh, and I'm a big Bulls fan. The Bulls are playing tonight. I'm trying to get some tickets. Oh, that's right. Lakers. Yeah. Now, do you, uh, does your wife go with you to these, to these events? Is she a sports fan? Yeah, she is. Yeah, she, she is, actually. Yeah. She likes going, we go to the garden because we live in New York right, whenever right, the right. Bulls come, you know. Oh, so you do stuff together. Yeah. That's good. In your new film, you do a lot of horseback riding. This is why I was talking about camping. Do you, do you have horses? Do you ride horses? No, I was probably the least experienced rider of everyone there, so yeah. I, I asked them to put me on the oldest and gentlest nag that they had, you know. Good old Roy. Kind of a thrill seeker, aren't you? <laughs> he had a mustache and, uh, yeah. So, but I, I think I was the only one that didn't fall from their horse in that movie. Oh, that, did, did Brad and everybody fall? I think, yeah, Brad uh, fell and uh, Henry had some mishaps and they were much more experienced than I was. Now, would it bother you if the man yeah. who was the sexiest man in, alive had fallen on his face? Well, you know, I mean, the sexiest man alive, I think that should be retitled the gassiest man alive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm telling you. I'm just getting Brad back. Uh, oh, I see. Him. And you were filming in the great outdoors. <laughs> That's right. It wasn't like you were in a bunker doing That's this That's right. So That's even right. then, so it's even worse. Yeah, yeah. We had this, he had some prodigious uh, talents in that area. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about it, but they do now. <laughs> you know, I kind of see that People Magazine thing a little differently now. You know? <laughs> They work with some Native Americans on this, is this true? They were, yes. They, um, actual people isn't like one of those where they dress up Italians and make them. No, these are real, no, no, real no. Indians. There was, yeah. a, there, was, there was a lot of really cool yeah. uh, First Nation people. Did they know. give you uh, Indian names? Uh, oh, boy. I, I was dubbed, uh, I was given an official Indian name by Sequin, the little Indian girl, and it was Wind in His Pants. <laughs> So, uh... Did you guys check with the caterer before you went on this time? I mean, what exactly? Uh, it, was it was a long shoot, Jay. We had to keep, you know, it was a serious movie, and we, you know, you we, know, we had to keep things... I don't think I can look at the movie now without thinking. <laughs> well, let's see, we have a well, clip we, got, we, we gave her an, uh, an Indian name, too, She Who Sniffs Wind. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we're going through the clip just in time here. <laughs> Legends of the Fall. Do we just need to set up the scene? Now, this is like, it's three brothers all in love with the same girl. Right, Didn't right. Didn't I see this on a bonanza? <laughs> no, 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 oh. no, but you're all in love with the same girl, right? Right, right. Okay. And um, uh, um, I've been courting the girl for about six months while Brad was away, and he showed up and uh, in one night uh, did a lot better work than I did in six months. Wow, I know that feeling. All right, let's take a look. When are you planning to be married? Morning. Damn you, Tristan. 
You will marry her. Make an honest woman of her? Yes! Damn you to hell. Yes, I will marry her. If she'll have me. If she'll have you? Do you love her? Or did you seduce her just to spite me? It's not what I did. And what about Samuel? What about Samuel? You tell me about Samuel. We all love Samuel. Samuel is dead. What? How convenient that is for you. Because you love her, I will forgive you for that. What? You say that again and we are not brothers. What? Are you wearing the same clothes you had on in the film? <laughs> you know, I'm one of those guys. That, that is the same shirt. No. You're wearing the shirt you got from the movie. Oh, actually, this is. Uh -huh. This shirt is, and these, uh, this you know, suit is from another movie. That's, that's right. the you only just, way I get clothes. clothes. You just get clothes I, from the movie. I wear T-shirts and jeans and I, whatever I can get from the movies. That's it. <laughs> I was going to say, that's I, true. I look familiar. <laughs> well, look, you do a terrific job. A terrific actor. I've enjoyed your work. And it's a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you. Aiden Quinn, be right back right after this.